So, race 37, the Panorama Race of the Week. It's the two mile six star as all its hurdle qualifier. Redwood Edition and Rocky Tattle for David Edder 1 and 2. Opera House for Kevin Mignon is 3. Park Road for Alex Cherry is 4. Grandma's Calapa for Martin Leland is 5. Dishy for Thomas Rogers is 6. Ghost Protocol for Paul Rose is 7. Grip It and Tip It for Ryan Corsello is 8. Jenny Jingle for Thomas Rogers is 9. And Knock Twice for Vinnie Gerard is number 10. The flag's dropped and the star has got him away. Seven hurdles to take. Oh, you don't need a commentator when all their names are on. And they've got to get get to the first. Oh, we've lost one. Jenny jingled, jingled herself onto the floor. Unlucky. Jenny jingles out of it after falling at the first. We're going to be led by Park Roller. All looking to qualify for the final. Week 13, which is only going to be three weeks away now. It's Park Road that's going to lead them to the next. Alex Cherry, by a couple of links to Opera House on the inside. Grandma's Carapa the Great. And there still is Ghost Protocol for Rhodes. Get to the second. They all jump it. Poor, poor jump there by Rocky Tattle. Tattle the top of the fence. Or should I say hurdle? You can't jump a hurdle. Hunt was still being led by Park Robler. Through the first half mile. And we move. Park Robler still leads us from Opera House in second. Grandma Calapa leads the rest. The great. Dishon is outside. Dishon is inside. Why the still are those who grip it and tip it. And goes to protocol just to the rear with no room. Followed through by Knock Twice and Rocky Tattle. We've just lost the one, which is Jenny Jingle. We'll finally get to the next fence here. Plenty of racing on the flat. Fucking them. Faking them. Faking them. Faking them. Fuck. Fucking them. But it's Park Roller that leads us by a length and a half back to Opera House. Rip it and dip it in Grandma's Calapa. Ghost Protocol. Dishy and Redwood Edition. Knock twice and Rocky Town. Oh, we've lost another one there. This time it's Ghost Protocol for Paul Rhodes that goes himself into the fence. Horse and jockey are okay. Live to race another day. We've lost a couple. So we're finally going to get to the, another fence and it's park roller that leads us. Mop house and grip it and tip it. Dishy, grandma's calapa. Wider that is knock twice. We've got redwood edition on rocky taffle. Stand. Get to the fourth hurdle. All over it. A mile and a quarter still to go. You can see the grandstand in the distance where we're all heading for, where the finish line is. See if we can pick up the penultimate race this week. Qualify for the starters orders finals. And there's Park Roller that leads us. Gripping tip in second up has on his inside. Grandma's clap up and look dishy. In between those is Redwood Edition. Oh, we lost another. Oh, no, maybe not. Who was that line on the ground there then as we went over that fence? Worth having a rewind there, guys. I don't know if one of the jockeys from the previous. Maybe they didn't get up and okay. But anyway, and back to this race inside the final mile now, and it's Park Roller. Still leads us by about five to Grandma's clap on the outside, which is pushing through his opera house for Kevin Meenaham. Redwood issues from Davy Lads there. Grip and tip it for Ryan Costello. Followed through by Knock Twice, Rocky Tattle and Dishy. He's dropped right back now. We go over the penultimate. Park Rollers leads now down just to a couple. That must collapse and Opera House. As we come inside the final five furlongs. We're just uh, the two to take now. It's Park Roller. But it's just one to take. It is. It's just one to take, and it's Park Roller. We've got to get over one. He leads. We're coming down to the final half mile now. One that's moving well on the outside now is Grip It and Tip It. 
Rocky, the Nazi of Ryan Costello horses, and that's a Dell horse, I don't know now, but it's part roller that's now going to be challenged by Grip It and Tip It, Van Mars Kalapa, and the wide outside is Rocky Tattle making up a bit of ground, but part roller's still holding off all challenges as we come down to the final three, and it's part roller from Grip It and Tip It, running on the outside is Rocky Tattle, not twice, pushing through Redwood Edition, I don't think Grandma's Kalapa's got anything left, Opera House Edition, not going to win from there, but it's part roller and Grip It and Tip It, these two are neck and neck coming down to the last, and it's Grip It and Tip It that just noses in front, you've got to have the inside rail because they turn in a little bit, so it's Grip It and Tip It from Park Roll of Rocky Tattle knocked twice, but it's Grip It and Tip It that's still nosing in front of Park Roller on the wide outside, he's knocked twice, but Grip It and Tip It's going to hang on as we come down to the final half of Furlong, Grip It and Tip It from knocked twice, running out of the pack now is Opera House but it's Grip It and Tip It, just by a length from Park Roller, knocked twice Opera House running on, and it's Grip It and Tip It that takes it, good win there and I'll wait for the card to come up because I'm not sure of those silks looks like Ryan Costello silks Grip it and tip it from Park Roller in second. Not twice run on really well to get up for third. And it will qualify for the final. Just going to check those silks. And it is Ryan Costello. Well done. Takes the uh, hurdle qualifier here. Good lad. Park Roller for Alex Cherry was second. Not twice at Finn Jarrell was third. Opera House for Kevin Meehan was fourth. Redwood Edition for David Lab was fifth. Thankfully the week's over. We'll see you next week.